Hi there, Buddy Rathmo here, founder of Love to Work. Love to Work was actually called CEO Shortcut in the past. And as we began to implement it, we realized employees don't care so much about the CEO having the great life and having a business that they can work on and not in and all those kind of things. And so we transformed it into Love to Work. And we realized actually for the business owner to have the best life possible, he also needed his employees to have their best life possible to have some autonomy and mastery over what they were doing. Managers needed clarity in the business and where things were going. And then, um, not only that, but managers within business wanted to implement some of these things, the Berkman tool into their their business or some of the processes that we had. Uh, Military folks wanted to implement some of these things in their business. And actually, if you just implement one piece of paper that I'm gonna show you later, it will totally transform your life, seriously. Use this for 30, 60 days. You will be a different person. And maybe right now you're not able to join with us, partner with us. Use this in 60 days. I think you will be. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Here we go. All right. So here we go. Love to work. We want to take you from overwhelmed business owner to in control CEO. Or if you're in a different level of the business, um, it's going to give you clarity. It's going to help everyone work better. Uh, the morale is going to go up with your business as every individual employee up levels and as your business up levels. We're going to talk about the love to work system and there's going to be pieces right now that you can implement that are going to help you tomorrow if you implement them in your business, maybe even today. Um, stay to the end and you'll get my 197 co-coaching course for free. Uh, Full disclosure, it's only $97 right now if you go, but we've sold it for $197 in the past. So what are some of the current frustrations of many business owners and some of these also apply to managers and leaders? One, a lack of clarity. Lack of clarity on where you're going, lack of clarity on what the steps are needed to get there, not enough profit, bottlenecks within the business, Uh, staff often seems to be a problem in businesses that are maybe doing well but not firing 100% on all cylinders. Maybe you've made some bad hires in the past. You've had to do some unfortunate firing in the recent past. Um, So getting those hires right, critically important. Getting the right people on the bus, as Jim Collins says, and in the right seat on the bus, really important. Maybe your to-do list just seems like it's continuing to grow you're struggling with overwhelm. I'm not sure where you're at, but if you're on this webinar, you probably have at least one or two of those things. Maybe you just have one. Life's kind of like, oh, you know, once in a while, frustrated. Maybe you're like this guy. You're starting to pull your hair out. Hopefully you're not like this dude where you're drowning. Um, And I have been there. I've been on both sides of the fence. I have been drowning and I have been winning. And I can tell you from personal experience, winning is a heck of a lot more fun. So a little bit about me, 19, actually, as of last two months ago, 20 years, I've been doing leadership development, coaching, organizational consulting, helping leaders win. Um, I've, I've done this on four different continents. Uh, currently, I'm sitting, looking over the coast uh, on the island of Okinawa in Japan, Um and I've started three businesses and two nonprofits. I've done tons of leadership training, uh, certified John Maxwell leadership coach, started a leadership podcast in 2004 before podcasting was cool. But I've also been on the other side of the fence. This is me, Christmas Eve, 2015. I'm 20 pounds overweight. Life is miserable. I had a manager of my business that I had to fire because of a business partner. Then my business partner um, exited. Unfortunately, I bought him out. That was a mistake because I was losing money like crazy. At one point, I thought I was having a heart attack. Actually left one of the business and went to the pool and just started doodling. Um, I was like, man, I'm in my 40s. I'm too young to die. I lost $250,000 US. Uh, My marriage was rocky and uh, didn't know if I was going to be able to pay for my kids college. After we closed down both, I was still close to $100,000 in debt to investors. 
Um, not a fun place to be. Cashed in retirements, sold my car, did everything to get out of debt in about uh, 13, 14 months to get back to zero. Sometime during that year of getting back to zero, my wife said this. She said, you should make money helping people. And I don't know why that was a brainstorm for me, but I kind of pictured my life like this, like business was one side of the equation and helping people was another. In fact, if I wasn't like overwhelmed with business or current project, I would actually put time in my schedule to help people. She got it from the table to go to school and I drew something like this in my journal. And I was like, what if business and helping people went in the same direction? And that was the path that I started to go down. And I thought this time I'm going to do it completely differently. So I have systems in place in my nonprofit. I have systems in place for my business to not live in overwhelm. Help myself first and now I can help others. So Christmas 2017 was completely different. Um, took my kids to Europe. Here they are in the Alps enjoying the snow we went to Paris. We went to London. We had the best breakfast of our lives ever in Brussels. We went to Oxford. We had a blast. And that was so much fun. I decided summer of 2018, we needed to take two months off. So other than a couple coaching clients that I met with for an extended weekend and about three hours of work that I still had to do because I didn't want to turn the financial keys over. So I still processed payroll. Um, actually, my wife processed payroll, if I'm being totally honest. So my wife worked a couple hours and I did some coaching. And other than that, we took two months off, traveled from the East Coast of America to the West Coast, 24-day road trip, visited the St. Louis Arch, visited the beaches of LA, visited the Grand Canyon, had a complete blast. I came back from that as energized as I have been since my 20s because I've gotten my health in order and having this huge break. And I was like, okay, I know what I want to do. I want to help business owners win. Uh, I know I wanted to help people. And I had been reading about some different systems that could be put in place to predictably help businesses win. And so I thought that is what I'm going to do. So we define winning as two times cash flow, three times profitability from where you're at right now and 10 times the valuation. Now, to be completely upfront, we're talking like this program is implemented in about 15 months. And 10 times valuation might take a little bit of time beyond that, but we can tell you as we start when we think we'll be able to get to that level. So I already talked about some of these frustrations that you might be experiencing as a leader in your business, in your organization, in your military unit, whatever. Um, and here's some of the barriers to growth. Now, this is true whether you're working with a nonprofit, whether you're working in your own business, whether you're a manager in a business, whether you're in the military. Um, now, the, some of these things, you maybe if you're in the military, you have no control over. But if you're in a business, if you're in an organization, you might have some control over these things. Number one is lack of leadership. Um, we could all be better leaders. I literally have been training on leadership for 15 years. And last week, I forgot to say goodbye to one of my teammates at the airport. Like total buffoon move. I was like, I seriously, all that week, um, I had been doing training on leadership and helping an organization and talking to these entrepreneurs about things they could do to up-level themselves and, and up-level their their own individual businesses, and I totally bonked on Leadership 101 saying goodbye to great teammates at the airport. Um, but there, there are things that you can put in place to help you grow and become a better leader. Uh, lack of systems. Do you have a system so that 85 to 90% of the time you are hiring well? Or are you like most businesses and it's a crapshoot and you're 50% of the time you make a good hire and 50% of the time you're stuck with a B or C level player or you're firing somebody. Um, lack of understanding of market dynamics. Do you know what's going on in your market? Are you able to consistently 
get new business to are you marketing in a way that your clients and customers are looking for? And then number one across businesses, organizations, military, everything, lack of execution. The average business execute only about 15% of their annual plan during the course of the year. 15%, which is why businesses are dying faster than ever. They last about half as long as they did 25 years ago. But also, you need to get your level of execution up if you want to just stay in business these days. Now, if you want to win, you need to be executing at more like 50, 60, 70. And if people that use this system get to the point where they're executing 80 to 90% of their annual planning. Now, part of that is being realistic in your planning. I remember sitting in uh, annual planning one time and we were like, we're going to have a jet and this is what color it's going to be. And we put it on the vision, vision board and all of these things for our for this nonprofit that I was working with at the time. And it was totally outrageous. I'm all for dreaming big, but you need to have a reasonable plan to get there. I'm all for BHAGs and uh, massive transformational purposes. We got to actually be able to get there. So the left work system um, after this, we're going to invite you, if you are a business owner or, uh, you have a organization or a unit of 10 employees or more, we invite you to a 60 minute strategy session, completely free, help you with getting to what are your, what are your dreams? What are your goals? What are some of the bottlenecks between there and there, here and there? And maybe what's one thing you can do to get there. Now, if you do want to partner with us, um, we have some, pre-kickoff foundations that we walk a group through, talk about that in the 60-minute call, and then a two- to three-day kickoff where we come to your business. I'm saying we. It could just be me. Um, if you're in Australia, uh, it's probably going to be Tim that is in your business, but I'll try to be there with him the first couple days. Uh, if you're in the U.S. or Europe, it's probably going to be uh, either me or me and a, a potential partner. Um, but we do a two to three day kickoff. I love to sit down with the business owners and maybe some key employees over dinner the night before we do a day with the executive team and then a day with the rest of the employees. Uh, that's a great day to do Berkman training if possible. Um, take your team through Berkman is one of the premier, um, personality tests built specifically for businesses to help them learn about one another, know where one another's coming from, how somebody's operating, how they're going to operate best, what their stressors are going to be, how you can help coach your employees, those kind of things. And then um, if possible, I love to stick around for another day just to get some time with individual employees, help them think through maybe some tweaks they can make. How can we help them up level? Uh, love helping people up level and get to a new place. And then flowing into two-day annual planning and quarterly one-day off-sites where your team works on strategy and decisions around um, people and strategy and execution and cash and what are some of the big high-level decisions that you need to make. So the Love to Work system is all about the aggregation of marginal gains. And if you've never heard of this, you've probably heard the story of the British cycling team that had amazing success after they brought in a new coach and this was his philosophy the aggregation of marginal gains the power of tiny incremental gains one percent gains he actually had 70 different areas that he was like okay we're painting the inside of the vans white so we can see any speck of dust we're going to look at the clothing material so that even if it's just one percent less friction we're going with that he actually got to the point of looking at the pillows that as riders were sleeping with, getting them better, you know, hotel rooms so that they could sleep well, all of these things. And he had phenomenal, like just insane success, Olympic gold medals, Tour de France wins, just doing well. And it was this idea of the power of tiny gains. And that's the whole idea of the love to work system. We teach business owners, that's you or leaders, if that's you. And managers and employees, this idea of tweaking, a small adjustment to fine tune. 
And we do this over a lot of different areas and we have a tool that helps you to do this on a daily basis that you seriously, if you implement this, you will not recognize your business 365 days from now. 10 of the big areas that we look at with the team. Um, first is a healthy executive team. If, if you're not healthy right now, you need to work out your crap. Maybe you, there's some conflict there. Um, we need to dive into that. Get things healthy. Maybe somebody needs to go. Um, you know, maybe somebody just needs to get healthy. Sometimes business owners are so overwhelmed that they're not healthy. Um, I had a, I brought in a coach one time and um, one of my assignments was to take two hours at the beach on a Wednesday afternoon during work hours and get myself healthy. And it took like six months. If I had to do over, I would actually be more radical. But I was going to the beach for two hours on a Wednesday afternoon to read a book and just get to a healthier place. And it was good advice. Um, I, we all, all of your business needs to be aligned to the one most important thing to move your business forward. So on a quarterly basis, what's the one thing that your business needs to be doing? Meeting rhythms. If you're not having daily meetings, just a 10 minute, what's a win from yesterday? What's my most important task from today? Um, okay, here's an announcement for the whole team. Boom, get to your job. And then if there's anything that needs to be dealt with, hey, Bob, can I talk to you about this for 30 seconds? Everyone's off to the races on their own thing. Clear accountabilities, one person responsible for each area of the business. Their name is on the line for something, whether it's hiring or um, the financials or sales or whatever. Somebody has a number that they're accountable for. Employee feedback, um, employees on a regular basis getting positive and negative feedback aligned to your values, aligned to the goals for the business. Um, and on a regular basis, so it's not once a quarter, once a year on this big thing. And employees are giving feedback for their superiors. Like, hey, I, th I think you could work at this or you could work at that. And um, that's not always fun. We like to get to the place where we're above feedback. But the reality is, and the data actually shows, that the longer we're in positions of leadership, the less we actually understand frontline customers. Customer, uh, frontline employees, I'm sorry. Customer feedback. Um, getting regular feedback from your customers. Values and purpose alive and you're acting on those within the business. All of your employees need to be able to articulate the four points of your strategy so that they can communicate that to others and they know why they're doing what they're doing. Everyone needs to know what a great day and week looks like for them. What's their most important number that they need to be hitting each day or week? And then plans and numbers are visible throughout the business. Maybe it's just a whiteboard on the wall. Maybe it's a, a screen that you set up specifically for KPIs or OKRs or whatever you use for your numbers. Hopefully you're using numbers. Um, and if not, that's an easy thing to implement to help the business know how you're doing. Um, and then there's a, a checklist to go through to make sure you're hitting those things. Where you start, other than the executive team being healthy and aligned, is kind of like a crossword puzzle. What, what are some of the easiest wins? What makes the most sense? Um, and, and that's where we start. But what if you don't change? What if you stay the same? The reality is in today's business environment, if you don't change, you're going to die. Years ago, there was a book written by that title, Change or Die. And what doctors found was that when... People were told they need to change or die. They would change. 90% of people would make immediate changes. Unfortunately, they weren't lasting. And most of the people, above 80% of the people in the end, would not make lasting changes. They were inspired to change, but they didn't have the tools. They didn't have the mindset. They didn't have the help. They didn't have what they needed. For some reason, they didn't actually change. And I think this is one of the biggest values that we bring in love to work. I believe in people so much. A lot of times I believe in people more than they believe in themselves. I was just having coffee this morning with two former employees that are friends and um, they actually went on to, to join a new organization, start a side hustle. And we were talking about another former employee of mine that they knew because they were wearing the t-shirt for this dude's cafe. And 
he was my first assistant when I moved to Thailand. And I said, he, I kept saying like, what are your dreams, man? And he's like, you know, we'd sit down over lunch and he'd say, Oh, you know, I want to have my own cafe one time, but it's so expensive. I don't have any money. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm like, bro, you can do it. Like you get a loan, you know, get coffee cheap. We, we, we would sit down and talk about things. And I believed in him too much and told him he could do it too much. And one day he came to me and said, Hey, uh, I quit and can I have a loan to start a business? And I went, crap, I need to find a new great assistant. And sure, I will give you a loan. And a year and four months later, he paid me back. And the reason they were talking about him is because his business has gone so well. He's actually able to take time off. He traveled over here to Japan where I am today. And he visited them. And they had some time together and they talked coffee Um, but I have had five former employees start their own businesses. I've launched people into cool things all around the world because I believe in people and you have something right now in your life that's holding you back guaranteed that I can help you break through. I can help you get to the other side of that. Uh, sometimes it's just a meeting, like one meeting I can help push you through something. A lady came to my wife about a year ago and she said, your husband changed my life today. We had had a, we were at a volunteer lunch, appreciation lunch together. And my wife came home and told me that. And I said, what did she say? Like, I'd love to know the words I use to help, you know, change somebody's life. She's like, I don't know that thing you do where you change people's lives. And there's something right now where you as a business owner, you as a leader, you as an employee, I can help you get to where it is that you want to go. I don't know what the end of the rainbow looks like for you. I don't know what your dream is. Maybe you just want your, your business unit to win. Maybe you're a business owner and your goal is you want to take two months off a year from now. And so you want to get your business to that place. Um, maybe your personal life is impacting your business. And uh, sometimes, honestly, those things are harder, but you can move forward in those things. Uh, maybe we do a Berkman with you and your spouse, you and your partner, help you understand one another at a deeper level than you've understood each other in the past. Um, I actually did, you can see on the Love to Work site, uh, I did a, a Berkman with a guy on this island and he moved his house to a place where he could see the ocean. And that just gave him life. For some people, that's a huge life-giving thing. So he wakes up every day, he has his coffee, looking out over the Pacific Ocean um, every day. So, Socrates, a little bit of wisdom here. The secret to change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. So if you're in debt, maybe you don't focus on getting out of debt. Maybe you focus on what's a new stream of revenue for us. Um, we focus on three things with the Love to Work system. The first is for you as the owner to get clear on your personal vision and your business vision. Where do you want to be in two to three years? Um, we bring the executive team into the discussion. And by bring them in, I mean we sit down with you, understand what your vision is. Then we create videos for your team and we talk about where they're going. Now, if you're a great communicator and you want to communicate all this, great. But one of the things people have told us is they want us to make their lives easier. And so that option is available to you. We, do, we can do all of this some of it in person, some of it in video, but we're relieving the burden from the business owners, from the managers, um, helping you to execute well. We have some surveys that can help um, pinpoint where you guys can move to grow. The love to work process done for the entire team. This is usually in that two to three day um, initial meeting. Uh, and then the leadership team at that same time begins to work on some of the foundational document and regular meeting flow set up for your entire company. If you're not doing daily meetings, that change alone is going to spark your business. Um, we begin to execute the Rockefeller habits. Um, one of the ways that we do this is using Align Today software, a great way to get the team up to speed quickly. Uh, also implement standard operating procedures for things that make sense across your entire organization using the kind of off the street idea. You have a standard operating procedure, whether it's video or written, so that someone off the street that has those skills, now we're not saying we can take uh, someone that doesn't know sales 
and your standard operating procedure is going to make them a great salesperson. Although you can use things like the straight line sales system that does help people do that. But we're saying someone has some skills in this area, whether it's accounting or sales or management or production or design or whatever, and your standard operating procedures can help them know how to do the job. Um, after the initial 90-day push, and this 90-day push is guaranteed, you we guarantee that after 90 days, you will recoup, whether it's doubling your revenue or a combination of doubling revenue and some cost-saving measures, that you'll be making double what you're paying us monthly after only 90 days. And after a year, you're going to be making way more than that as you implement this system across your whole business. So we use the 4D framework, drivers of coaching, learning, and technology to push your business forward. Um, balancing people and process, looking at the disciplines of priorities and data and meeting rhythms. So we talk about, um, we'll look at it actually in the next slide, and then decisions quarterly around people, strategy, execution, and cash. So the meeting flow, um, we not only, this again is stuff that we can either train in person or we can create video training for you that helps your managers know how to best run daily huddles and then the weekly meetings and then for the executive team, the monthly quarter and the annual meetings. Uh, and we can sit down with you and go, okay, what do we need to do to make this next quarterly meeting um, awesome? And also bringing in an outside person for those quarterly and annual meetings can be huge. You'll see if you haven't ever brought an outside consultant in before that knows how to run a great meeting, how valuable that can be. Jim Collins says this in How the Mighty Fall, greatness is not a function of circumstance. Greatness, it turns out, is largely a matter of conscious choice and discipline. Conscious choice and discipline. You need to make some conscious choices within your business and you need to have disciplined people with disciplined thought that have disciplined execution and you will have a different business. Jack Wells says this on people. That with the love to work system, you actually need less people. You can probably grow your business. I'm saying probably because maybe you're already behind in hires. But as you execute on systems and you develop systems, you can probably grow your business 20, 30, 40% even with less people. Now, you might need a key hire right now. I don't know your business. But less people, but they're better people paid a little bit more, and you're actually going to have a lower total wage cost, which is what GE did and why they've been a great business for the last 40 years um, because they've done this. Less people paid a little bit more, but a lower total wage cost. Um, this is the disciplined people that get coaching, disciplined thought. We're actively learning. Are your people actively learning? Do you Give them money so that they can get a book. They can go to a conference. Um, you know, do you have those things? And on the bit of coaching, we offer coaching standard for the top two people as part of our thing. And we offer training, this training that you're going to get, we offer it to your whole business so that everyone's able to coach everyone else. And then using technology to force and create disciplined action. Buckminster Fuller says this, you can't change the way people think. All you can do is give them a tool, the use of which will change their thinking. And so one of my favorite tools actually to change people's thinking is just this piece of paper. Um, now, this is my personal morning formula at the top. If you can see that there, uh, yours would look totally different. Now, most of this isn't going to happen at work, right? Like this might be something that somebody does if they want to up level that they do at home, some of these things. Um, I just do 10 minutes of exercise every morning watching a video on YouTube that has kept me in better shape than when I used to go to the gym three or four times a week. There's simple ways and hacks to operate better in your life. I think you should give every employee 10 minutes at the beginning of the day to fix their mindset, to think about what they're grateful for, to think about why they're looking forward to that day, what's going to be great. Um, and it doesn't have to be at work. Maybe they're looking forward to dinner 
with their spouse that night. Go ahead, put that down on the sheet. You know and I know that life and business mix and your personal life impacts your business life. Literally, somebody's performance at business can be impacted by 50% or more by how things are going in their personal life. Um, how the person intends to live that day. Are they going to, do they intend to be happy? Do they intend to be disciplined? Do they intend to execute well? And then the KPIs and the metrics, that's going to be different. This is more fixed on a salesperson's job. That's going to be different for every person's job. And then there's just a spot at the bottom for notes, five through 10, that's 5 a.m. through 10 p.m., which is kind of my calendar. Yours might be different. But then at the top is just the quarterly priorities. What are the for that business unit, what are the quarterly priorities that need to be hit? And then at the bottom, what are some of the magic moments from today and what could have been better? What this gets your team doing is thinking positively. Seriously, this rescued me from the depths after I lost a quarter million dollars. And I am thinking better than I have thought in my whole life. I About three months ago, I started doing this almost every day and... Um, I had to pay a $300 fine a few days ago because my wife forgot something about us living in Thailand. And I was at the office paying the fine. And I'm like, this is my best visit to this place ever. Now, was it was it categorically my best visit ever? Probably not. I don't have to pay $300 every time I go there. But my mindset has been so great. It's like it didn't even matter. I was like, no problem. I'm going to make that somewhere else. Not a big deal. Um, and I am enjoying life. And it's due to this tool, this piece of paper, and the fact that I'm executing. You want to feel great about your life? Execute on your most important task every day. Probably you don't hit your most important task every day right now. With this sheet, you put your most important task on the calendar at 9 or 10 or 10.30, and you hit that. Four out of five, nine out of 10, 14 out of 15, 19 out of 20 days, you get to where you're doing your most important task, 19 out of 20 days, you're going to be winning. You're going to feel like a winner. You're going to be enjoying life more. Um, these are just some quick screenshots from the Align Today software. Uh, great for the business if you want to choose to use that. There's other ways to, you know, there's, you can do it on paper. You can do other things. I do think thinking on paper is really important. Um, so that daily plan on paper, your weekly plan on paper, doing a weekly review on paper, man, shutting your screen, you'll notice you increase your ability to think like 50%. If you have drama in your life, we can help you bring clarity. Quick question for you. Are you playing not to lose or are you playing to win? We want to work with winners. We want to work with people that want to win. Um, my name, Buddy, actually means friend of the king and winner. Um, I One of my favorite moments in life is when I won a college national soccer championship as a senior in college. Um, I love the idea of winning. I hate playing not to lose because most of the time when you play not to lose, eventually you you lose. When you play to win, you can stay on the path of being a winner. And so we want to help you win. We help overwhelmed business owners win by transforming to in-control CEOs. And we do that with simple, practical, actionable tools that have a bias towards action, a bias towards execution. The tools actually increase your discipline in your people. I was talking to a business owner about five months ago, and he says, this sounds great, but I want you to train my blank team. And I thought, yes, this is what we can do to separate us from other people in this market. Besides the fact that we have the love to work pieces and we have the Berkman and we have these things that separate us from other people in the business operations systems category. We believe in people. We help them to break through their barriers. But we also offer all of this training online. No one else out there is doing this. We, we create customized training for your people. 
So if, you're, if your team is struggling on weekly meetings and how to make those effective, we create training in your meeting. When we, we have a coaching call with you, we want to lift the burden from you. We want to push responsibility as far down to your team as possible. And we want to help you with that training. We want to take these pieces from you immediately. We, we want you within 90 days to go, man, this is a win. I'm so glad that I've met Buddy and the Love to Work team. We're in a much better place. And I guarantee you will be. Like I said before, it's guaranteed. You're going to double in value, in monetary value, you're going to double at least what you're paying us within the first 90 days. And it's only going to go up from there. But maybe your greatest win is going to be that you have clarity, you have um, people are executing, you're, you're being brought to a whole new level of thinking. You're up-leveling your own thinking. Your team is up-leveling their thinking. They're more productive. And you know what? People, your team wants to win too. I don't care what business you're in. I don't care how much of an Eeyore you have in you know, in accounting or whatever, those people want to win too. And when you help them win and when your whole team wins and what we do this first 90 days, we set this goal, we make it known to the team that when your team reaches this goal, there's some sort of, you know, I don't know what it is. Maybe you, you have a pig roast if you're from Virginia or you take them to the pub if you're from England or you take the guys out to the bar if you're a military unit. Whatever makes sense for your team, you set a goal that, hey, when we reach this goal, this is how we're going to celebrate. So your team's goal is aligned with the business owner's goal, which is aligned with our goal. And all of that is to win. So this is what the process looks like. 60-minute um, call. Schedule a strategy call with us at lovetowork.co. Um, we'll f we'll tell you just a little bit about us. I've kind of explained some of it. We'll talk about your goals, your history, your reality. Where are you at right now? What's the gap between your reality and where you want to be? What are some plans that can help you break through that? And then give you a quick overview of some of our system and tools that we use to help you get there. In 90 days, you're going to be in a better place and you're going to be on the, the path towards a real win. Whatever it is that you want to get to in two or three years, we're going to give you within 15 months the tools to get you to that place. And I hope whatever your goal is, you're probably a little bit overworked. And I hope your goal is to take two months off 15 months from now. A two-month vacation where everything in your business, even the payroll, runs without you. Um, and all of that is taken care of. So, Schedule a call with us. Any other questions that you have, we are happy to answer. I promised you the co-coaching training. So go to cocoaching.co. Password is mastermind. And in an hour, you can be a better coach. Now, you could do coaching training like I did that took a year and I had to fly halfway around the world and I had to pay someone to coach me for a year and I had to get all these clients and I had to coach all of them to a place where they won. And all of that was great. I'm not saying it didn't help me to become a much better coach. But the basics of being a coach you can learn in one hour. Um, and if you begin to apply, you will be a better spouse, a better partner, a better boss, a better coworker. Um, and then we actually use this throughout your business so that everyone in your business that wants to can experience the power of coaching. That Google says is the most important thing within every one of their teams the most important thing for a team that wins is that the manager has coaching skills. The manager has the ability to coach. And what happens if every level the manager is able to coach, everyone in that business is getting coached. And then at the executive level, just like Google, you're paying someone to coach you. Now, it's part of our process. We include it for free. But uh, if you don't use us, and you're the leader of a business, you either should use this co-coaching process with another CEO or you should hire a coach to help up-level you and get you to a new place. So go ahead and go to lovetowork.co now. Set up a free strategy call, free consultation. Uh, no pressure. This isn't a sales pitch in disguise. It's a strategy session to help you get to where you need to be. 
So we would love to work uh, with you if you want to win. So I know this isn't you and this isn't me, but it's a, a picture of working together. So go ahead and go to lovetowork.co. Talk to you soon.